I'm Sophia Abraham Louisiane. I'm from Creative Kids Kindergarten, located at La Clary. I'm Ian Mitchell, the administrator of Mary Jane's Care and Learning Center at San Susi. A $2,500 grant from the government comes out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Your institution will benefit, the children will benefit. What's your reaction? That's fantastic. I mean, everybody can, can use something like that because this is not what you call a high profit venture. It means a lot to me because I can see what I can do with it for the children to enhance my school and its development. Parents struggle to pay at times. Whenever you have any kind of issue with your facility, there's no time to wait. I can't put things off. If there's a, if there's a plumbing problem, it has to be dealt with. If there's a lighting problem, it has to be dealt with. If there's an issue of cooling, it has to be dealt with. Especially the children now you have to have more resources to work with them because of the different homes that they come from. It's always welcome to have that, that kind of, of support. Um, and it's very timely. The schools are, are going to close for a few days to renovate, to repair. So that can come in handy. Going to be painting, I'm going to be fixing fences, going to be dealing with all the sorts of things that that $2,500 can go towards. I'm, I don't even know what to say because I'm so proud, I'm so happy that the Prime Minister have found it in him to give us that small grant to assist us with what we have to do. Now all this would not be possible if the, our Honourable Prime Minister didn't understand the importance early childhood plays in the overall development of our nation and I, it was because of that he has made this initial, and I repeat, initial, you know, initial investment into the sector. It gives me extreme pleasure to invite to the podium the Honorable Philip J. Pierre, Prime Minister of St. Lucia, to address you. You must develop a confident child. Too many times, we, our children lack confidence. Our children lack that they can do it. And that's your job. You are the most important people in the system, whether you believe it or not. And then the next budget, the minister and I will sit down with the education officials and we'll allocate, we'll allocate money now to early childhood education. We have to, because that's part of our promise to the people of St. Lucia. <laughs> Universal early childhood education. We've done primary, we've done secondary, now you have to do early childhood. So we take you very seriously.